What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Morgan Turner, Mo Bass, coming at you with something that Gospel Producers has pretty much created that I think is a wonderful tool uh, for musicians, singers, uh, artists alike, producers, engineers. This is something that literally we all need, and I'm going to show you how I use it in real and quick time. So our church is getting ready to do uh, West Angeles, Lord, Prepare Me. So what I'm going to do is go and grab the files um, as if I'm just importing the session information uh from jump uh, so i know the tempo is 78 as i always like to make it known what the temples are and all that good stuff there so yep i'm going to import all this stuff yep now i have all of my files in here and i'm just going to do a little bit of color coding and and all of that stuff so you know and just labeling you know so you can see what's happening in real time and i'm gonna do this really really quickly guys So here we go. We got um, two and a one, two keys come in and boom, 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 boom. Yep. So everything is there. Everything is lined up. And, you know, once again, I'm just making sure. All of the markers line up where they're supposed to. Everything is looking good. So now we are at the point where I'm like, okay, now I want to go ahead and get ready to use the Gospel Producers Guide Track. And watch how easy this becomes when I'm ready to drop these slates in. So I already see where the intro where the chorus is, verses, and all that stuff are, are in the session. So really, all I'm going to do at this point is start dragging and dropping stuff in. So I know uh, one of the cool things is, um, with everything being labeled, uh, once again, I can just go ahead, drag it in there, and watch this. Intro, two, three, four. But you're like, wait a minute, it didn't start. Okay. One of the other cool things he has, he has a short version of every command and a long version of every command. So that was the short version. So I'm going to go down here to where it says intro 44 long. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to highlight this one as you can see. Click the slate, drag it in, drop. Now, here we go. Intro two, one. Right on it, two, right? Three. Intro. Four. Yeah. Yep. So as you can see, now here's the cool thing. I'm never going to stop the track. I'm just going to keep moving in real time. Now watch when it comes up. Still going, still going, right? So, let me lower this. So while that's going on in the background, what I really want to do is keep moving ahead. So I see there's a modulation coming up. So let me go find the modulation. Yep, modulate right there. I'm gonna set this up. And then I know it's going back to the chorus. So already, I'm way ahead of the game and the song is still going, right? I love it, yep, we good. Now however you wanna do it, See, it's, key, it's still rolling. So I know chorus two is coming up. I see chorus two right there. Go ahead, drag that right there. It's going to line right up.
Okay, bet. Next part, we're going back to a modulation. Into a chorus. So we're going to modulate back to the chorus. Drag and drop. Already there. Yep. And then I know the vamp is coming up. So I'm immediately going to uh, find this vamp. Boom, there it is. I'm going to be ahead of the game. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. So I'm, all I'm doing is just following the markers, dragging these in. Okay, there's a breakdown coming up. Break down. Yep. Drag that in there. I'm gonna go back to a vamp, and literally, I'm almost done with this already. And mind you, the song ain't even over yet. Uh, vamp. Drag and drop. Yep. Everything is looking good so far. Oh, there's another chorus coming up. I'm gonna go back, grab this chorus one. Chorus. I don't know the ending. Take it out. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Going to take it out. So at this point, my slates are done for the song. So as you can see, the, the length of the song is five minutes. So it really hasn't even taken me five minutes to do this. So. I mean, and that's that's just the beauty of this. Now, mind you, you absolutely have all these keyboard uh, commands where you can do them. But for me, I just found it easier. If I know where the markers are, I know where the sections are. I legit can just go in here. Let me turn this back up just a little bit. Drag as the song is going on. Drag the file right in, and I'm I'm locked and loaded. So let me just mute these real quick. So I already know. Chorus two, three, four. I'm good. I know where we're going. All right, my little Reaper trick. <laughs> Moving in real time. Y'all can learn about that later. Ha ha ha. But um, all, all the slates, slates are already there. Everything is in place. Everything is in real time. Cool deal. So guess what? Let's say um, you know. All right, cool. Well, I don't want my stems to be in in MIDI form. I want to print them as, you know, audio. Just like you would bounce out a stem, you know. Come here, highlight the whole thing, and just say, all right, I want to bounce these out. Slates and wherever you want to sell it. I'm just go to my desktop for right now, just so that way I can do it real quick. Because if you want to deal with waveforms, I know how some people are. So, yep, slates are bouncing out real time boom done so now i'm gonna go to my desktop and i'm gonna import those slates that i just was looking for uh slates boom there they go right there watch this boom oh, let me get that out of there so now my slates not only i have them in plug-in form i actually have them in waveform so just in case, let's say you don't have Gospel Producers uh, Guide Track on your laptop, but you have it on your thing. It's always easy to just bounce out the slates and boom, they're right there. Intro. Two. Still right there. So one, two, once three, again, four. a great tool that you can use. You know, once again, I like the I like the male vocalist um, on here. But the other cool thing is like if you want something that cut through a little more, guess what? You can go on here. And the beauty of it is you can change it to intro two. It doesn't one, change anything except two, the timbre three, and tone of the four. voice. So it's like intro two. Uh huh. One, two, three, four. Yep. Two, one, two, three, four. And Lord willing, if I ever get to make it to the, uh, you know, Latin American, all that good stuff there. Intro. Yes, sir. Dos. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. 
So yeah, that's one once again other great features. So even if you're working with artists, you know, uh, across the waters and all that good stuff, there, man, look, and they want you to submit a song, you can absolutely still guide them in their language. So you know, um, I believe that they're going to be working on upgrades to get other languages in there. But once again, that is absolutely my take on them. You know, just the basic version of them. Uh, and then once again, you can get going here. You know, Three, you could do, four, you can make them brighter. Intro. You see how dark two, it is. One, two. So that way it's three, cutting a little four, bit more. Two, one, two, three, four. So that way you can hear how they do with all the stuff. So, you know, whatever you feel it's you know, it, it just is a great tool that I really think everybody needs to go ahead and invest in. It'll save you time. It'll save you energy. And it's also a great teaching tool uh, when you're trying to teach your choir members or your praise team what the parts of the song are. You know, some people, they, as crazy as it sounds, they might not know what the chorus is, what the bridge is, what the actual verse is. Using these to send out in your references and rehearsal or even, even having them during playback and rehearsals is a wonderful thing. So, yeah, man, um, shout out to Gospel Producers for this amazing plugin for a uh, guide track plugin. I'm telling y'all, you want to go ahead and download it now. I've already been using it. It's amazing. And, um, you know, I can't wait to see all the extra features that they're going to add to it. You know, John, thank you so much, man, for continually blessing us with great gifts like this. Peace.